Hello YouTube, it's me, David Harry, your favourite YouTuber and vlogger! Oh by the way, this was shot on a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 using the internal microphones and I've just used one of the microphones in post. Okay, so getting into this then, a 1 inch sensor and 8K resolution on the Hero 12. Right, well, to start off with, I just think that's a big pile of BS. And that's for two reasons. The first reason is, it's my opinion that it's BS and I'll explain why that is in a sec. But the second reason is because I just don't think GoPro would ever do that with the current state of the way the heroes are, as in their form factor and stuff. Now, I will get to the reasoning why I don't think GoPro have got any interest in, in doing something like that. But first of all, my opinions of this. Now, I could end up with serious egg on my face here because it might happen. You just don't know. GoPro, because they're a bunch of crazy fools, might just think, yeah, well, we need to do something with a hero now just so we can up the stakes again. And what better thing could you do as a big, massive BS marketing push than to put a one-inch sensor in a tiny action camera? 8K, I mean, you know, that would be just insane. Now, there is a possibility it could happen, but initially, I'll tell you the reasons why I wouldn't want it, okay? A one inch sensor, right, on any camera, doesn't matter what it is, is going to give you focusing issues, right? So the thing with GoPros historically, they've got an infinite focus, right? So from a very short distance, everything is in focus. Now, for action stuff, that's never been a huge problem because people tend not to like be this close to a GoPro if they're doing action things. I mean, you might have that, that an angle like this if say it's mounted on a bike or something, but generally for your action stuff, you, you're looking at the big wider picture, in which case, once the GoPro goes into its infinite focus after that initial kind of out of focus area at the start of its focal length, at that point, you've got an amazingly big wide picture, which is all in focus. The problem with using a one inch sensor, and it doesn't matter what the lens configuration is for it, it's going to be really difficult to have like, you know, a really close, like, you know, focal point. So the problem is anyone who wants to use these things for vlogging, if they think that the likes of your action cams now can be a little bit weird, the closer you get to them with that fixed focal length and stuff, then I think they're just gonna have a massive problem if they go to one inch. So that's the main reason for me is for the vlogging thing. It, I just don't see how GoPro can do it. Like I say, I might end up with egg on me face. There's, there's every chance of that happening. But I can guarantee you right now, if GoPro put a one inch sensor in there, it's not because they thought it was gonna be technically amazing or anything. It's strictly just going to be a marketing thing and nothing else because it doesn't need to be on it. The, the other thing as well, as we all know, GoPros are like renowned for like heat issues. Now you imagine putting a one inch sensor in there and then compounding all those heat problems even further. The only way GoPro could put a one inch in anything is if they change physically the type of body that a one inch sensor would go into. It's all doable of course, but it kind of affects the use of the camera because if the camera has to get bigger to accommodate a one inch sensor and obviously a bigger battery and a better processor and all that type of stuff. Because don't forget, just because it's a one inch sensor doesn't necessarily mean that you need a higher processor. But with that one inch sensor, if the rooms are true, about 8K comes a, a shed load more pixels as well. So seriously, tons and tons of processing is needed for this type of stuff. Anyway, before I lose track on what I was just saying there, heat is definitely going to be a problem. So if we think GoPros are a problem now where they overheat too quickly, they're just gonna like burn up and blow up with a one inch sensor. As in, if you had a Hero 11 and you directly had a one inch sensor and it changed nothing else but the one inch sensor in it and then like, you know, ramped it up to 8K, that thing would catch on fire if you did it on a Hero 11. So if they keep the same size body on a 12 and they put a one inch sensor in there and they boost it to 8K, I don't know why they're gonna do that in, a, in that size. Like I say, I could end up with egg all over my face and all the rest of it, but I doubt it. And the other thing with that as well is the 8K thing. We do not need 8K, absolutely don't need it. So 
the main reason why we don't need 8K is because the photosites are going to be so small on the sensor. There'd be no point in going to one inch and then massively reducing the photosites. You're kind of like losing the benefit of having the larger sensor so you can have the larger light gathering capabilities of larger photosites. So going 8K would be just mad. Now, don't get me wrong, <coughs> if it was 4K or maybe say a bit above, and like they just do some down sampling and stuff like that then that would make sense at one inch because then you would definitely get better low light performance by comparison to a 4k sensor which is smaller because the photosites would be bigger but once again i just don't think that it's going to go in there because of the focus problems and the focus issues now if gopro ever get around to doing their pro camera which has been something that they even have mentioned themselves then yeah, I could see a GoPro Pro something uh, with like a one inch sensor and maybe 8K and doing a bunch of other things. But that's, that would have to be a completely different format and stuff like that. It's mental. Anyway, just to sum this up, um, I just don't think it's practical from a GoPro point of view either. I just don't see how GoPro as a company who have developed or basically been the leader in the whole action cam like you know world i mean obviously we've got dji and a bunch of other peripheral kind of companies out there uh, but gopro really are, are the market leader and they were the people who started it all off i don't see why they would want to go in and then start wrecking something that they already don't have full control over by introducing even more technology into a platform that is known to be problematic full stop oh god you know what just the thought of this thing is making me sick because i want to buy a hero 12 but if they say it's got a one inch sensor full stop i'm gonna to have to think seriously about that but if they say it does 8k oh i'm gonna to have to go to dji not that there's anything wrong with dji i've got three dji action cameras but i think you know what i'm getting at here anyways they're just my thoughts there so let me know in the comments what you've thought about that because i seriously do think this could be a really bad mistake if it, if it indeed it is true but i really don't think it is true anyways yeah let me know in the comments and all the rest of it you know if you think if you've agreed with me or if you think i'm just an outright crank and i've got it wrong on every single level but if you do think i've got it wrong on every single level tell me why and i'll, I'll accept it if somebody can come up and explain to me why i'm totally wrong with these things anywho i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now <laughs>